Yeah, hello guys. Um, this is Akuma from Clinic. Um, this morning we'll be talking about um, types of charging ports and their configuration. And um, before I will start, I want to beg you guys for the background noise. Um, you know, here in our area is very noisy, so please I apologize for that. Um, so here on my desk we have um, different type of charging ports, common charging ports. I'll be showing you guys <clears> on. <throat> I hail most of my technician in Nigeria, in Ghana, in Uganda. Kudos to you guys. Keep on, keep up the good work and um, keep up the integrity also. So um, I'll need to switch to the microscope now um, to show you guys charging port on my desk that is available but I will not be talking about um, Samsung I'll be talking about um, uh, Technos, uh, Infinix, uh, Geoni, um, uh, China mobile phone um, Samsung is, uh, is exempted so Samsung is not there so we'll just be talking about Infinix, Techno, Geoni, ITEL and our small phones are you getting me? So um, let me switch to the microscope now so you guys will see. So guys, um, these are the charging ports on our decks. So um, I'll be talking about them and their configuration one by one. So let me start with this. I'll be starting with this, with this charging port here. Now I will be giving you the name of the charging port. Then this, this, this QTN charging port this Q10 charging port um, at times that, that because if we go to the market this is what we call it we call it Q10 charging port and once you tell them in the market that you want Q10 charging ports this is what they are going to give you but in some shop if you tell them Q10 charging port they will say let me see the kind of charging port you want um, so it's better for you to I will snap it then you can you can just screenshot this charging port instead of me snapping it and me putting it on the video so just screenshot this charging port so i will open it so that you see then i'll be talking about the configuration also so i've done the opening this is a q10 charging port so now this q10 charging port we all know that this charging port it has five five legs. What I mean five legs, I mean five pins. If you count it, let me zoom so that you see what I'm talking about. Look at look at it. If you count the legs, it's five. We are having five legs, right? Now, for you to know plus and minus of this, for you to know plus and minus of this, maybe for example, oh, the noise is just too much. Maybe for example, you have a board. I'll advise you guys whenever whenever you want to change the charging port from from a mobile phone what you do is make sure your testimeter is always with you put it on buzzer mode and check the plus and minus what I mean is check the positive and the negative the negative will always be beeping to any ground on the mobile phone once you put your negative probe of your testimeter on the negative side of your charging port and the positive side of your negative probe of your positive probe on the ground it will definitely beep are you getting me so if it beep you know that this thing is minus and this thing is plus are you getting me so the negative side of um of your what is it called of your board your phone board will always be beeping with the ground any ground in that board that panel so now back to the charging port on this q10 you can see if i turn it upside down if i turn it upside down like this you see these two holes are you getting me that means the plus you know we can't if we want to fix it now we can't fix it on the board like this because the legs is upside down but it's, if we want to fix it now we fix it like this are you getting me so 
Now our plus of the disconfiguration of this one is plus plus is at the uh, right hand side. Are you getting me? Then our minus is at the left hand side. Why is it like that? You know our normal our normal charging port. Now I'll be going to this one now. This charging port. Look at this one. We call it. Let me zoom out. This charging port here. This one here. We call it Q1. It does not have bag. It, this one it has back leg. We, we, this one we call it Type 2. Then we have the one. Let me open it because I want to. I want to talk about those charging ports simultaneously now. I've opened this. You can see this is the nylon. Now this is the charging port. Are you getting me? If I should let me hold it like this, you can see it has it has back leg. You see it has back leg. Hope you can see it very well. It has back leg. There is another one that does not have back leg. I'm just trying to show you guys so that you see. You can see it has back leg. There is another one again. We call it Q1 also. But that one is that this one is type one Q1. This is the Q1 I'm talking about. This Q1. Are you getting me? Now let me let me remove it from the wrapper. From the line or other. This is it. This one does not have back leg. Are you getting me? It does not have back leg. So if you go to the market, tell them you want Q1, that the, uh, the one that does not have back leg. And if they did, if they do not understand, those seller at times they may not understand. So if you if you go to them, they, if you show them the picture, if I have the picture on your phone, once you show them the picture, they will definitely give you what you want. Are you getting me? Now this is Q1 type one that does not have back leg, and this is Q1 type two that has back leg. We 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 call it type type one type two for better understanding in our office. So that is how that is how we give it a name. So this type two, you can see it has back leg. Now I'll be using I'll be discussing about the configuration now. I told you this one is Q10, right? And the and the positive um, pin is out here at the left hand side. Now if you if you take a close look at this charging port, this is the common charging port that we do use Q1. We all know that on this Q uh, on this Q1, the positive side is always at the left hand side. Please, you have to take note. Left hand side, left hand side. The positive side of this Q1 is so always at the left hand side. Why is it like that? Look at this one. Do you know the reason why the positive sign is at the right hand side of this Q10? Do, do, do you know why? It is because now look at this hose. You know we have hose here, and the hose of this one is is upside down. This is the hose. I've turned it upside down now. Can you see the hose? So once I turn it upside down now, the if I turn this Q Q10, if I turn it upside down, the positive sign will now be at the left hand side now. But if I want to fix it on a phone, if I should turn this charging port like this, the positive side will be where? It will be at the right hand side, not left hand side. It will be at the right hand side. Are you getting me? But the but the positive sign of this Q1, are you getting me? The positive sign of this Q1 is at the left hand side. Please guys, take note. It's at the left hand side. Are you getting me? It's at the left hand side. Why the ground, the negative, is at the right hand side? Why the negative of this one? It's at where? It's at the left hand side. So guys, please take note. So let me zoom in. You can see the legs. Then this one that is very close to the positive sign, this legs is the D minus and D plus. This one is irrelevant. The this one is irrelevant. Then this one is for the ground. Hope you are getting it. So this is that. That is I've talked about the configuration of this. And now the this one uh, this type two Q1 that has back leg the same configuration with this Q1 type one. Are you getting me? It's the same configuration. So I'm done with this I'm I'm done with the explanation of this. So now this one, hope you get the explanation of this. Yeah, very good. So we have another set of uh, charging ports. This one, we call it F7, type type two. The reason why we gave it type two is, is because of for uh, better understanding, because, so that people, will, uh, what is it called? People will grab on time. So let me unwrap it. Let me remove it from the wrapper, from the lilac. 
this F7 Type 2. Look at it very well. You see, it has five legs also. The same, this configuration, the configuration of this F7 Type 2, the same thing as our Q1 and our Q1 Type 1 and our Q1 Type 2. Are you getting it? Same configuration. So our plus is at the left hand side, while our negatives, uh, that is our minus, is at the right hand side. So we have another F7. Hey, now, I want to say something. You can see any like this this type of charging port because charging port that is in the market now we have the one that that is iron we have the one that is aluminium the one that is aluminium is very very easy to hold that that means uh, if you use your lead or your black your black paste if you take up the black paste to take it easily but the iron um why the iron the iron um charging port like this one you can see it's different look at the color you can see the color is different the color of this the color of this the color of this and this is different look at it very well you can see this one is iron are you getting me this one is iron and the other one is aluminium the one of aluminium that's the original one are you getting me i prefer this one because this one you have to stay on it because for so the lead to uh, um, stick together to this um, iron it will take some time you have to you have to put your so the iron on it for long so that it will so that it will stick together with the charging port and with the board, the lead on the board. So it's very, very hard. So I prefer this one because it's very, very easy. I prefer aluminum. So guys, take note. If you want to get a charging port, make sure you get the one that is uh, that is aluminum. Now, some people, if they want to fix their charging port, just I'm giving you tips now. If you want to fix your charging port, um, make sure, look at the legs. You can see the legs are good. Are you getting me? Are good. So don't just mount your charging port on the board like that. Make sure you scrape these five legs. You scrape it with, with sharp blade. Once you scrape it off, you will see those things, uh, the gold, those insulator. Uh, let me just call it insulator. So those gold stuff is going to, you are going to peel it off with blade. So you have to be careful where you are doing it. So, so you have to just scrape it off with your blade. So once you scrape it off, the reason why we are scraping it off with your blade so that your lead will stick to it immediately. Because if you want to solder the this uh, good golden stuff, it's going to give you a problem. Are you getting me? You can see it's good. So it's going to give you a problem. So it's better you scrape it off. And once you scrape it off, the color will change to silver. Are you getting me? Once it changes to silver, so you just put your lead on it and you are good to go. So that's that. Then I think that's what we have. Then we have this charging port again. This one we call it boot, boot, boot two or boot four. Are you getting me? So let me uh, move it from the nylon so that you guys will see. Now um, to my guy, uh, what is it called? Um, to my guy Evan. Um, this is the charging port you, you are supposed to use to that Huawei. That Huawei phone you are talking about. Now this is boot four or boot four or boot two if I'm not mistaken. So this the configuration of this boot boot two or boot four rather the same thing as uh, our Q10 that I showed you earlier on. If you notice, you know I told you there is there's supposed to be, if there is O on top, that means the positive sign will be at the what left hand side. But since there is no O's on top, that means the positive sign is at the right hand side are you getting me note it the positive sign is at the right hand side yeah. are you getting guys me? Right. i hope this video helped this is you talking about from clinic